Hi guys, I'm not sure if you guys are paying attention today, but uh, my producer Herman just told me that Twitch had a new announcement, which is their new Twitch Max Studio. This made headline right here on TheVerge.com. And the funny thing is the article made it very clear that it got launched, but there wasn't really a whole lot of information around it. So there's a screenshot as you can see. And in this video, what I wanna do is to show you step-by-step -step how you install Twitch uh, OBS, some of the amazing uh, you know, features within it. <laughs> But to actually find the download link, you, what you need to do is simply go to Google and type in Twitch Mac Studio and you wanna do download. You can see it's in beta mode and I'm gonna go ahead and download that. So the download is pretty fast, but the installation, guys, it will actually take a few minutes. I'm gonna show you real quick what the web page looks like. Personalize your streaming. This section is pretty amazing. I mean, depending on who you are, what you do, if you're a dance and fitness instructor, I can imagine you're getting pretty creative here, but especially if you're a gamer, if you're a person really into these things, there's a lot to play around. I mean, these little icons, emojis, you can upload your own, you can customize your own brand colors. So Twitch Studio just finished installing. Let's double click, launch it and see what we need to do. First, you're greeted with, hey, are you sure you wanna open it? I'm gonna say yes, let's see what happens next. All right, so now you have downloaded a Twitch Studio beta. And um, when you first enter the application, you'll be able to see something called main, uh, which as I'm showing you right now, there's something called the be right back. There's something called chatting. Chatting uh, inside Twitch basically means you're like this talking head. You can do sit down interviews or monologue, whatever it may be. And you can also build your own layout. So what I'm doing here is to give you a first look. So uh, first I wanna show you the easiest way to go live. I think this applies to a lot of the fitness entrepreneurs, whether you teach dance or fitness, or perhaps you're a musician or your content creator, you know, is giving, you know, advice and things like that. So the easiest way really is just through what's called chatting. So to start streaming right away, all you have to do is just like this, you know, uh, you can add some layouts. Actually, let me show you just real quick how you can edit this layout in case you want to have some music, for example, or you want to have some sort of logo. So go into edit and now you see there's nothing here. What you have to do is actually click on this, right? Just simply click on your screen, this layout area right here, and you're able to see all of the options. And it's fairly basic. One thing to select your camera, for example, to change from the default FaceTime to uh, HD Pro webcam, this is where you do that. For dance instructors, you might want to flip this back and forth. I mean, this is what you're projecting and live streaming to your students. So you can do horizontal flip, uh, vertical flip, and there's something called fill versus fit. So for example, my camera right now, it's this is more like a 4.3. So if I fill it based on our 16 by nine, which is more standard for Twitch, for YouTube, you can do that also. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, the border, you know, I have like a purple border. You certainly don't need to have that. So click on this little uh, sort of like a gear, a little dial button that you can, you know, include the border or not have it at all. You can change the color if you want. As you can see, you know, real time updates. You can include the size, the roundedness of it. And if you don't want the border at all, click on this little eye icon and it just simply removes it. So from here, what you can do is look to the left-hand side, right? Here you have your webcam, you have a background color, which I'm not even using, um, but you can also click on the plus sign to add what's called layers. So layers in Twitch Studio is the equivalent of sources in OBS. I'm speaking to people who are using OBS on a regular basis. It's just the terminology is a little different. The rest really is the same. So if I were to show you how to add an image is you know, you can see this little box here. You can resize it however you want. Over here to the right hand side, you can choose an image. Here you can choose your logo. Obviously, it doesn't have to be what I'm selecting here. This is my mom's painting and um, it's defaults to fit, but you can fill it. 
if you want to. Uh, obviously, you know, I think this is quite convenient because if you have a logo that's not of a perfect size, you can still make it work. Um, and from here, I'm going to hide it because I won't need this. Uh, you can get really creative, right? With, uh, what you put out there. Um, and you can have, as you can imagine, you can have a little emojis. You can have a banner. You can have a border. Um, if you don't want the layer to be here anymore, um, one thing to note is number one, you can, as you can see, you can move these layers around. But if you made a mistake, you don't want the layer anymore. Simply make sure that layer is selected and delete it. Hit the delete icon and just delete the layer. Uh, another thing is that it's not so obvious. When you right click on the layer, you can easily rename it. So if I want to remember this is my HD cam, I can do that, uh, you know, so that when you have multiple layers going on, you won't confuse yourself. So that's enough blabbing. Let's just go ahead and, and hit save. And now you're good to go. Your chat, your chat room, all this information is here. You can show your stats here uh, and any last minute settings that you need to check. This lower uh, right hand corner, you can change your theme color, your language. Uh, at the very beginning, when you first enter your uh, Twitch studio, there's something called, uh, you know, your system assessment. But right here, you can continue to re-optimize your settings. Uh, so I mentioned a little bit earlier, which is in order to optimize, you know, just make sure you quit the apps and all that. I find this part to be a little bit strange to be honest because i never really had streaming quality issues until i'm logged into twitch studio um, you can manage recording i'll show you where the record button is right now it gives you the path of where your recording is going to live also it lets you choose the recording format here you can double check on your audio right now i have an external microphone make sure that is selected if that's what you're using and uh convert to mono uh, this normally fix the issues when your microphone is only outputting to one channel so there's some advanced settings that you really don't need to mess around with at the moment to exit out you know i don't need to play around to start streaming just hit the purple button and off you go i'm going to show you a sample real quick um which i can so let me actually go live so you can see what it looks like right here so this is my channel let's go back to my main channel page all right let me just go live so oh by the way to record the video you can hit record and you can stream while the recording is going on let's see Hello, hi, this is Fei Wu from Face World Media. I am doing another test for my live stream just to see what a quality my live looks stream like. just to see. So uh, I'm really curious and I am checking out the Twitch Studio Beta for Mac for the first time. There are just so many different features. I am exploring, experimenting. I'm glad to be able to share this with my audience on YouTube. And uh, I'm really glad that this now finally exists and Let's see what happens. So to end your stream, just press that button. You're good to go. And your recording basically stops simultaneously when you stop streaming as well. Um, so that's it. And that's how you go live. So if you want to look at the quality, I'll show you different features i am exploring experimenting i'm glad to be able to share this with my audience on youtube and uh, i'm really glad that so one thing to call out i'm in my office right now i literally don't have any direct uh lighting sources pointing at me you know i'm also really close to the camera and it is my hd you know logitech camera as opposed to the one that i typically use to film my youtube videos so to take those things into consideration i think your setup is going to be definitely you know easily more professional professional and and all that so enjoy all right guys so uh, we went live and now i want to dive in just a little bit deeper on the settings that you have within twitch so as you can see uh you're greeted with main be right back chat and i want to talk to you guys about creating your unique custom brand new layout so to do that what you can do is click on the plus sign so create a layout from there what you can do is edit layout right here so you see this name is predetermined and what you can do is simply click on rename it to say i'm going to call this a test click on the uh, check mark it's confirmed this test right now has absolutely nothing so uh what i want to do is walk you through all the layers you have access to again layers here is exactly the same as um, sources from obs so let's first look at screen share so you can share a screen. 
So full screen application to change what you're being, what's being shared here. It's from over here or the Twitch studio. So you see, once I share the Twitch studio, again, it creates kind of this, um, infinite kind of mirroring effect, which is kind of cool. And, uh, you can also do something called the main screen share, which is very similar to what we just did. Now, I just turned on Spotify. I'm going to use screen share to show you how to add only one application or one screen from your computer. To do that, uh, come to change to the right hand side and you're going to select just one window in order to kind of pop that into your, uh, your streaming window. I would also say as I'm at this point, anything you don't need, just get rid of it because uh, because the screen isn't all that big, depending on the size of your computer, you know, I'm on a pretty big iMac, but with so many different layers in this case, it can get a little confusing. So you can add your uh, screen share right here. You can add text. So to show you what it looks like, you know, this is your new layer text right here. You can test, uh, you know, I'm going to just write a face world media and then you can resize this like that. You know, uh, you can move this whole thing around. There isn't as much alignment tool, right? There's no center of the screen uh, or anything like that. So you kind of just have to eyeball it. I find that's something that could be improved. You can add multiple layers of the same type. So from here, I'm going to say I can create a subtitle called uh, We Love Creating Content. From here, if you want to differentiate with the text right above it, what you can do is uh, make this text smaller. So to modify that, you will see that the font choices really, they aren't too many. I think, you know, to be honest, this looks like to be a beta situation and error, but uh, let's just ignore that for now. Um, and, you know, you can change a few things here and there. That's about it. So again, I'm taking, I'm demoing something real quick. You can make this as sophisticated uh, as you want. You can change the opacity of the text size alignment if you want. Um, pretty basic, just like how you would use Microsoft Word. Let's take a look at other types of layers. Let's talk about image. Image, simply again, select an image that you want. And, you know, there's some sorting features such as recent images. I would imagine, you know, most of us will be pretty much using the same, uh, you know, the same layout for a while. So you can select that. This is my mom's painting, which we talked about earlier. There are options to fit or to fill. So that can be pretty convenient. Even if you have a logo that is not really the perfect size that you can imagine to use something, to use this and make it work. So that I like. Uh, let's move on to something called the video. So which is also called media. Media here, I can go ahead and select a video. I pre-uploaded something here, so I'm just going to use that as an example. Uh, one thing I don't love, and I think it's, it's a missing feature, is I'm unable to pause and start this video. It's basically whatever I have uh, available here. I can't really rewind or fast forward either. Uh, and what I do like is the fact that I can control the volume. Right, the background volume. Uh, if you are a content creator, who needs to play some music and then um, turn down the volume of the music before you start speaking. Well, there are some controllers here that can be very beneficial. Uh, there are options for you to loop the video or restart playback. Let's move on to the next thing, solid color, exactly what it entails. This part is probably very easy to explain. You know, you can change the color as you wish. And next thing is color gradient. So pretty cute different colors you can play around on the right hand side and we can do a webcam webcam as it shows up and immediately grab the default facetime hd webcam but what i want what i want is the uh, hd pro webcam this is my logitech again you can resize it and you know place it anywhere on the screen it's such a hodgepodge right now. You can do Twitch alerts. I don't know how many of us non-gamers will be using this, but there's something that's pre-built and it comes with sound effects as well. Alert background color. So you can definitely modify directly from here. So to modify the specific uh, icon or images you're using for these alerts, you can do that. Just highlight any of these and you can change your image there. You can play the sound. 
You can even change the alert uh, audio file if you want. I'm just not that fancy. So this is definitely not the layer or uh, the feature I need. Let's see what else. Last but not least, you can embed web page as well. Uh, so to assign web pages, uh, let's just use the good old fashioned Google. Oh, there we go. So you can resize the window and still make it work. Um, and it's, you see at some point it's cropping uh, there and you can showcase this, I guess, for online teachers and anything you want to demonstrate from a particular website, this will be really helpful. With that said, I'm going to hide this. One thing I want to call out as you have many, many layers happening. Uh, let me also turn off the media so it's a little less distracting. As you create more of these layers, also know you can right click on a layer and simply rename it. You can move a layer up and down by dragging and reorganizing it so that controls, you know, what's the first, second, third layer. Uh, make it easier for you to kind of drag uh, these, you know, these elements. Um, so, um, and let's take a look at these audio settings. So, you can definitely use and connect your uh, Spotify audio. So let me show you when I play a piece of music. You see right here, the volume is getting picked up. This is computer audio, which is very, again, very beneficial to the fitness and dance community that you can use uh, Spotify exactly or, or iTunes um, as you wish. So there are some additional uh, settings you can see and you can listen, you can mute stream if you want to. There's some additional gear buttons. Uh, you can further analyze and select, you know, the lead, add your sources here. Uh, you can turn your webcam on and off. So there's some very basic, you know, just like, I guess, almost like Zoom uh, for you to choose webcam on and off. And for further and more complete settings, that's definitely the uh, lower right hand corner here in the settings area. And that's it. So let me know what you think. I'm really curious, you know, how different people are using Twitch Studio differently. This announcement came on so kind of recently. So I just want to uh, do my part and then kind of share and compare different features. So far, I would say it's not perfect. There's a lot of things that need to be doubted with and improved upon, but it's definitely so much easier, I would say, to kind of go live from here as opposed to teaching someone else to use OBS. Um, so from a user experience perspective, I find these menu items to be a little more intuitive then, you know, straight up OBS. And also, you know, there are some built in functionalities, layers and backgrounds you can access right away. So that's it. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. If you haven't subscribed, please do. That means a lot. And to support us, you can find us on Patreon. And I will include a link below. Have a great day. Be well. Take care.